hi everyone welcome back to my channel i am chiwendu in case you are hearing my voice for the very first time you are welcome if you have been a returning viewer you are also welcome please if you haven't joined this beautiful family consider hitting the subscribe button turn on your post notification so that you get notified once i upload a new video you guys remember this pattern right it is a pattern of a victorian corset with basque waistline which i made in my previous video before this one so if you haven't seen that video i'm going to be linking it in the description box so that you go check it out okay now with that being said guys this is going to be the sewing part of the tutorial so if you are interested in this chill sit back relax and let's get into it okay now this is the lace fabric i'm going to be using this is a two lace and then uh, this is the brighter satin i'm going to be using as the underlay this is going to be the lining i wasn't opportune to get the matching lining so that is what i'm going to be using and then uh, this is the interface i have here with me hair stay and a paper gum okay I also will be needing a ridge line boning and equally a bracco because I'm not going to be padding this. I'm going to be adding this bracco. So you guys, this tutorial is going to be coming with so many teas, so many tips and tricks that nobody will tell you about. Okay, so you guys just stay tuned until the end of this tutorial. Okay, so these are all my pattern. I've already cut it out on fabric. I'll quickly remove my pins. Now you can see this is the center front. I added half an inch, and to the upper part of the middle part, I added half an inch. Now to the side front, there is nothing like seam allowance because that place is the armhole. Okay, and if you take a look at the back, I also did the same thing. Now the middle of the um middle front you can see i've added no that because i actually added the that while i was drafting on the pattern right and then to the side front and the side of the middle front i added half an inch so this is literally showing you everywhere that i've added half an inch and then to the down parts which i'll be using to join to the lower part of this gown okay i added half an inch all right because i'm going to be adding this into the skirt block okay so this is not just a blouse i'm going to be sewing this into a gown that is what i mean all right and then i've gone ahead to cut out the main fabric and the lining you can see and you guys you can equally see that i've gone ahead to label all these patterns okay so that you are not going to get yourself confused now we are going to get started i've gone ahead to remove my line by the sides and equally removed my back piece so i'm left with the front piece right now so i'm going to go ahead and match it up and then show you guys what to do so the first thing you're going to do is to go ahead and join your center front because the center front is cut separately okay if you want you can cut yours on folds in that case you're not going to be having any line in the middle but for mine i went ahead to slash it so i'll move over to my machine and use the half an inch that i added as the seam allowance to join it so you can see i've joined it next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and join the middle okay so this is the middle front i would go ahead and pin it into the center front i hope you guys understand and the middle front is the cup area okay so i'll go ahead and pin it up and you know that that middle that middle front comes in pair okay so i would pin the other side to the left side and then the other side to the right side you can see what i am doing and i will simply go ahead to my sewing machine and sew this but i'm going to sew it up with you guys okay i'm just going to show you what i am going to do before we move over to the 
sewing machine all right now once you are done sewing that part you are going to also sew the side fronts okay so you can see the way i'm demonstrating it that is the way you're going to sew it on your sewing machine now we are done with explaining that part i'm going to move over to the back piece now the center back is equally in pair okay so now you are going to bring the middle part of the back and then sew into the center back just like this and once you are done you sew the side back into the middle part as well okay So you can see i've gone ahead to arrange them i've moved over to my sewing machine and we are going to start sewing so you can see the way i'm sewing this i've actually sewed the fronts of camera oh, you guys already know how to join all that okay so there is no need showing you what to do i'm just trying to show you this particular part so that you can have a clue on how to join this together so you can see what i am doing i'm doing this with half an inch and you can see i'm following my arrow so with that arrow you are not going to get yourself confused okay so ensure that you indicate with the arrow so that when you are about to sew this it will be very easy you guys so after i join the center back because this is the back okay after i join the center back to the middle part i went ahead to join the side of the back as well okay So once I am done, I'm going to go ahead and notch, all right, so that this could lay flat and you go over to your ironing table and you iron this out, okay? So you can see that I am done with one part. I'm repeating the same thing to the other part, okay? And you guys don't forget to repeat everything that you did on the actual fabric also on the lining piece okay so everything that i've just done here you're going to repeat it to the lining piece as well all right and after we are done this is what we have you can see this is my front and my back together i've equally gone ahead to do that to the lining piece okay so i'm just going to open it up so that you guys can see what we have right here all right and to the front i'm going to turn the back so you can see the wrong part you can see that i used my bio to indicate each of the parts and then uh, i followed the arrows to join them together okay so that is the essence of the arrow is very important and you know that victorian corsets can be very confusing okay they comes in different pieces okay so by the time you pieces all these they're going to look alike so it's very important that you make all these um indications so that you'll be able to differentiate between the side the middle and every other part okay so now you guys this is equally the lining uh, remember like i just told you i've used my steam iron to iron the front piece so i'm going to repeat the same thing to the lining piece so that you guys can see exactly how i did that okay now to do this you're going to be needing your telos ham or your bust ham all right or your breast board whichever it is that you know it as and then you're going to place your cup right there just like this and then you open up your seams okay 
so you can see what i am doing just make sure you give this a good press okay so that it could lay flat for you to insert your bonings because you are still going to sew in our ridge line boning inside each of those lines okay each of the seam that we just opened okay so guys if you if you want to insert your your ridge line boning inside each of these um seams you're going to have to run a stitch okay on each part of the same allowance that you just opened up okay but for mine i'm going to be running it in between those seam lines i hope you guys understand so by the time i start doing this you're going to have a clear view of what i am trying to explain okay so now that i am done ironing this i'm going to bring in my ridge line bone okay you can see it on top of the table i have equally my breast cup i've gone ahead to sew in my ridge line boning into the back piece i'm going to use the front piece to show you what i did and also i've gone ahead to insert my modesty panel okay into the back of my lining if you don't know how to do this i will equally leave a video detailed video i explained how to do that in the description so that you go have a look okay so you guys for my ridge line boning for it not to pop out you're going to be needing a lighter or a masking tape okay a lighter you can use it to burn and then so that it won't be that sharp and then a masking tape you can equally use it to tape down that side so that it won't be that sharp okay now to sew your ridge line bone inside your lining please don't sew like this you can see don't sew with the curve facing upward okay sew with the curve facing downward you understand because if you sew with the curve facing upward after sewing in your lining into the actual piece it's going to be poking out i don't know if you get me okay now i'm equally going to fold my cup into two and look at the center all right all this i'm going to be doing on the sewing machine all right so you can see what i am doing right now okay and i've already cut out my ridge line bones okay so what i do is this um over the upper part i'm going to come down with 0 0.75 inches okay because you are still going to need like half an inch to turn this lining with the actual piece and then uh, on the down part i usually leave about 1.5 inches because this is going to have a basque waistline you don't want a station whereby you're cutting out your basque waistline and your ridge line boning is obstructing it okay so what you are going to do right away is to go ahead and start sewing this okay so you guys you can see the way i'm sewing this my ridge line boning should be placed on the seam allowance okay on the seam allowance and the other part should be sewed by the side of one of the seam allowance please take a close look and you will understand what i am saying so i'm sewing this next one now the first line i'm going to be making is directly on the seam allowance okay
so you can see the space that i left down there i left about 1.5 inches you can see and to the upper part i left about 0 0.75 inches okay so now that we are done you can see what we have right here you're going to go ahead and give that a good press so that your boning can at least lay flat a little okay it's not going to lay flat properly well but at least it's going to try all right now i'm going to sew in my bra cup you can see if your bra cup is not that curvy you need to shape the middle okay so i've gone ahead to shape it and i'm going to sew it into the lining now to sew in your bra cup you're going to ensure that the the wrong part of your bra cup is facing the wrong part of your lining piece do you understand me so that by the time you turn your lining with the actual piece okay the curvy part is going to come out properly well don't make mistake of joining the good part of the bra cup into the wrong part of this lining please do you understand well with time you are going to understand okay so you guys these are all the teas these are all the tricks and tips i told you you are going to be learning from this particular tutorial i hope you are enjoying it so far okay so i'm just going to follow the middle of my cup and then sew it into the middle of my corset okay so once you are done with one part equally repeat the same thing to the other parts and then once you are done you're going to go ahead and top stitch all around the cup just like this okay so guys you can see what i have right there so with a clear view you would notice that once i fix this into the lining it's going to stay properly well and my boobs are going to enter properly well okay now this is the actual piece now i'm going to sew this net okay because i want to achieve something like this neckline i just showed you okay but then i'm going to do it on the client when she comes for fitting okay so i'm not going to finish up finish it up right now but if you are making this into a tube go ahead and turn your fabric with your lining and close it up okay so for this one you can see i'm going to be having a sleeve right there and i'm equally going to be having like a drape at the upper part of my shoulder okay so that's why you can see that i attached this um two in between the lining and the actual piece okay before turning it out with the lining you can see what i have right there so to turn with the lining go ahead and sandwich your two in between the lining and the actual piece just like this but then if you are not making use of any two or a yoke go ahead and turn it out and then you are good to go okay so guys you can see what i have next i'm going to turn the sides okay and you guys this is what i have you can see and this is what we have i'm going to go ahead and bring in the back piece okay now for the back piece i've actually gone ahead to input my eyelets okay so i've gone ahead to input my eyelets where it's meant to be because this is going to be a lace-up back do you understand so this are my eyelets you can see how beautiful and very neat it's looking this is the modesty panel if you also don't want the modesty panel you can leave it i'm going to link the video to how i explained in detail how to insert your modesty panel into your lining okay so don't worry about that i'm going to 
put it here for you guys to go watch it if you haven't done yet okay so now i'm going to go join my back into the front piece with the same allowance that i left which is 1.5 inches okay but because i've gone ahead to turn it a little inch i'm going to join it with about 1.25 inches and after i was done you guys this is what i have you guys this is my corset i'm going to go ahead and join it to the down part okay so if this is a tube top you go ahead and turn the down part and then you are good to go so guys this will bring us to the end of this tutorial and if at any point in time you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up i will see you in my next one bye